Welcome back everyone to another episode of Blast from the Past TV where we look back on beloved TV shows and look back on what made that show so special to begin with. We are jumping all the way back to 1991 to look back at this classic animated show, The Adventures of Tintin. So sit back, relax, get your magnifying glasses because we are about to take a deep dive into the world of Tintin. But before we do that guys, make sure to hit that like button down below, subscribe if you have not, and join the Discord to stay updated with everything on my channels. But with that finally out of the way, let's get into it. Now The Adventures of Tintin is a classic animated television series based on the popular comic book series created by Belgian cartoonist Herge. The show first aired in 1991 and was produced by Ellipse Program and Nelvana. It aired from October 2nd, 1991 to September 28th, 1992. The show had three seasons which consisted of 39 episodes, each being half hour episodes. The show was renowned for its faithful adaptation to Hedegay's original stories, meticulous attention to detail and high production values. It was the first television adaptation of Hedegay's books for over 20 years. The series follows the adventures of Tintin, a young and enthusiastic Belgian reporter who travels around the world with his loyal dog, Snowy. Along the way, he is often accompanied by his friends, Captain Haddock, Professor Calculus, and the bumbling detectives Thompson and Thompson. The show faithfully adapts many of the original comic book stories, including The Crab with the Golden Claws, The Secret of the Unicorn, and The Red Wreckman's Treasure. Throughout the adventures on the show, Tintin faces danger, outwits villains, and demonstrates his unwavering sense of justice and compassion. He travels around the world solving mysteries, uncovering secrets, and thwarting villains. The show is known for its thrilling plots, well-developed characters, and beautiful animation, making it a beloved classic for audiences of all ages. Now, The show also explores themes of courage, friendship, justice, and the importance of standing up for what's right in the world making it a compelling educational watch for all viewers. The tone of the series is adventurous and lighthearted, with a sense of fun and excitement, and makes each episode a joy to watch. But it's not just the action and adventure that makes Tintin's stories so special. Haruki's meticulous research, his attention to detail, and his ability to tackle complex issues such as politics, war, and the environment sets his work apart and makes it as relevant today as it was when it was first ever published. From the dusty streets of Cairo, to the snowy peaks of the Himalayas, from the depths of the ocean to the surface of the moon, Tintin's adventures takes him to places most people can only dream of. Now, The Adventures of Tintin is also known for its distinctive animation style, which blends the traditional hand-drawn animation with computer-generated imagery. The show's creator took great care to recreate the look and feel of Herge's original comic strips, including the use of bold colors, clean lines, and detailed backgrounds. In the episode's Destination Moon and Explorers of the Moon, 3D animatronics were used for the moon rocket, an unusual step for the early 1990s. The rocket was animated in 3D and every frame of the animation was then printed and recopied onto a celluloid. They were then hand painted and then laid on top of the painted background. The rocket seen in the title sequence is animated using the 3D process. Now, certain areas of the stories pose significant challenges for the producers who had to adapt features of the book to a younger and more modern audience. For example, the frequent use of violence, death, and the use of firearms were toned down or removed completely. Now, the show helped introduce Tintin to a new generation of viewers and helped to popularize the character and his adventures worldwide. The success of the animated series led to various merchandise tie-ins, including toys, books, and video games. Now, Tintin's popularity continued to endure, with new generations discovering the character through the animated series as well as the original comic books. The series was received well enough to attain several awards on its part. It won a Sept Door Award in 1993 for the Best Children's Program category. In the same year, the show was also awarded its Best Animated Series Prize at the Gemini Awards. 
Now, Tintin also did end up getting its big screen debut with a 2011 movie also called The Adventures of Tintin. The movie did very well, grossing about 375 million USD. This movie also helped many others rekindle their love for Tintin. As well, it also helped new viewers experience the fun and lovable adventures this character always has. Now, I was too young to watch Tintin when it first aired in 1991. Though for some reason, I always knew of his name and always knew who he was. Now, when I would go travel with my family to Europe, I would always see his comic books in the bookstores. I really loved the 2011 movie and got me to watch the anime for a short-lived show it had a lot to offer. Great characters, fun adventures, and just enough spice of danger to keep you hooked. Now, over the years, Tintin has inspired countless people around the world. From artists and writers to explorers and adventurers, his legacy lives on reminding us all of the power of curiosity, courage, and compassion. Now, as we look back at this amazing show, it's so cool to realize how well every story was written, each episode having its own purpose. Tintin will always go down as one of the greatest reporters in any animated series. Now, I hope you guys all enjoy the deep dive into everyone's favorite Belgian man. Thank you all so much for watching this episode of Blast from the Past TV. Make sure you hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you have not. And let me know what series shall I do next. Stay tuned to everything on my Discord, guys. Links are all in the description down below. Thank you guys so much. I hope to see you guys in the next one.